Hey guys, welcome back for another episode of photography tutorials for V-Flat World. Today we're going to be showing you how to avoid reflections uh, on your duo boards. Uh, they actually are, have a beautiful matte finish, so they're pretty good at avoiding reflections naturally, but especially on the black surface, you definitely get those. Uh, we're going to be talking about angle of incidence. All right, let's get into it. So we're going to talk about angle of incidence without getting into any of the heavy duty math because the numbers don't really matter. It doesn't have to be an exact science. It's just a visualized, get a basic idea of how reflections happen. So when we talk about angle of incidence, what we're referring to is the direct reflection, the specular highlight of the softbox showing up in your camera lens, in your sensor, exposing in the sensor. So if you follow this angle, it's exactly the angle that the lens is shooting at, the camera's looking at, is the same angle that the softbox is being placed at, which will cause a very strong reflection on pretty much any surface, even if it's not so reflective, like these duo boards. So let's take a quick shot. And so you see this really, really strong reflection on the surface, which in this case for sure is not pretty. So these dual boards, like I said, they're really good at avoiding reflections, but you still can't be at a direct angle for the specular highlights. So the way to avoid that is kind of just visualize where that angle is. So as long as your softbox is not in this, in this vicinity, you'll be okay. So let me show you how that works. So if I drop this softbox down, so now we have the softbox in position in an angle that's going to avoid the specular highlights on the surface. And I'll take a shot, show you what that looks like, and then I'll explain you what happened. Perfect. So you see there's literally no reflections. The shadows are a little dark. We'll fix that in a minute. But there's like no reflections on the surface. Exactly what we want. There's beautiful light on the scene. That's gorgeous. Okay, so now here's what happens. We're going to explain this in a simpler to understand way so you can visualize this right here in this tutorial. So if I use this V-flat, you see as I open it, this is the angle that the camera is viewing. This angle here is the camera viewing the surface. And then this angle here is gonna be the angle of our angle of incidence, which we're trying to avoid any specular highlight. So this angle is coming down like this and bouncing off at exactly the opposite angle straight up. And if you follow that angle, it's past my softbox. And that's why we're avoiding any specular highlights here. Now, if you remember in the beginning of the video, we had the softbox higher up, and that was a direct reflection of our light. And that's why you saw the softbox right here in the surface. So that was on the black surface. The black surface is extremely unforgiving. Any tiny little specular highlight that's angle of incident, incidenting its way into your image, it's gonna show up in this black surface. So we're gonna move this guy out of the way for a minute. shot and show you what that looks like and that is perfect that's beautiful so what I mean by it's a little more unforgiving is we can get this guy a little bit closer on set and still avoid most of our reflections so I brought this a little bit closer so it might get a little highlight which is what I want actually yeah so you see up in this top left corner if you look close you are getting that highlight but it doesn't show up looking like a highlight it looks like just a brighter spot on the board now if i would set this softbox up up here where we had it in the, in the beginning of the tutorial you'd see that crazy strong reflection also the shadows and ref uh, would would be all weird here so the shadows of of the uh of the props on the surface that would get all weird but showing up in the top left corner, I think this is a prettier image. Before we end this video, I did say I was gonna show you how to soften these shadows a bit, lighten them, I should say. So we're just gonna take this little V-flat, hold it up there, pop one more shot, and there you have it. Shadows are a little darker. I'll show you what it looked like without it. That's without the reflector. So just open up those shadows, show a little more texture. I think maybe I went a little overboard. Let me pull it back a little further and that's it, that's what I like. So you still have that dark shadow, but you see that beautiful marbling on the stick. So that's a wrap.
Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We're gonna be posting tons more photography tutorials like this, showing off the duo boards, teaching you a little photography along the way. Have a great day.